Hi, so today I'm going to talk about muscular dystrophy. Um, muscular dystrophy is a group of diseases that causes progressive weakness and loss in muscle mass. Um, muscle dis muscle muscular dystrophy um, is caused by abnormal genes or mutations in the genes that interfere with the production of proteins needed for a healthy muscle. Um, there are many different kinds of muscular dystrophy. Symptoms are of most common um, variety begin in childhood, mostly in boys, and other types don't surface until adulthood. There are, there's currently no cure for muscular dystrophy, but medica medications and therapy can help manage symptoms and slow down the course of the disease. Um, the main sign of muscular dystrophy is progressive muscular weakness. Specific signs and symptoms begin at different ages and in different muscle groups, depending on the type of muscular dystrophy that the person has. Um, the Duchenne type of muscular dystrophy is this is the most common form of muscular dystrophy although girls can have um can be carriers they're mildly affected and it's more commonly in boys um about one third of boys with duchenne muscular dystrophy don't have a family history of the disease possibly because a gene involved many may be subject to sudden abnormal change so that is called spontaneous mutation so the signs and symptoms um, typically appear in childhood, and that means frequent falls, difficulty right, raising from a lying or sitting position, trouble running and jumping, waddling gait, walking on the toes, large calf muscles, brain pain, I mean muscle pain, and stiffness, learning disabilities. The other type of muscular dystrophy is Becker mu muscular dystrophy, and those are very similar to Duchenne. Um, they typically begin in teens, though. Uh, the other types of muscular dystrophy are mitonic, um, FSHD, congenital limb girdle, and those are all the types. And those all um, are very similar, but they all manifest at different ages. Um, FSHD manifests typically in late childhood or can begin as late as 40 years old. Um, congenital happens both in boys and girls and it is a very slow progression and only usually causes a mild disability um, and mitonic is um, an ability to relax the muscles and allow contractions to happen so it's mostly adult onset so that's different as well the causes um, it is caused by certain genes that are involved in making proteins and protecting muscle fibers from damage muscular dystrophy occurs when one of these genes is defective. Each form of muscular dystrophy is caused by genetic mutation. Um, and many of these mutations are inherited, but some occur spontaneously in the mother's egg or the developing embryo and can be passed on to the next generation. Risk factors, muscular dystrophy cause, uh, occurs in both sexes and in all ages and races. However, the most common variety, Duchenne, usually occurs in boys. People with a family history of muscular dystrophy are at a higher risk of developing the disease later on and passing it on. Uh, complications that can arise from having muscular dystrophy is trouble walking, shortening of muscles or tendons around joints, breathing problems, curved spine, heart problems, swallowing problems. And for the diagnosis, there's a lot of different ways. It's mainly by um, just symptoms that a person is having, but there's enzyme tests, uh, genetic testing, muscle biopsies, heart monitoring tests, and lung monitoring tests. Uh, there definitely are a few medications that can be used to help treat the disease, but it is there is no cure for muscular dystrophy at this point. So there are medications that help can, that can help slow down the disease, and there's medications that can help with the symptoms that come along with the disease as well. So um, therapy is another really good one that is good for this disease, just since it, it's a muscular disease. So it's really good to get stretching throughout the uh, muscles and try to help with the range of motion and slow down the progression of the um, disease. And you can also get surgery to correct the spinal curvature that will happen when you have muscular dystrophy as well. And there's a lot of different clinical trials that are coming out and hopefully that will um, find some new cures or some new treatments. And it definitely is a disease that's really common and a lot of people have it in the United States. And it is something that is well known in my opinion. It also is something that greatly affects the person who has muscular dystrophy. Most of the time they end up in a wheelchair. So that is 
something to go along with it as well.